Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I gotta let you know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Big Manscaped in the building, man, providing you all of that stuff that you need, man, to keep today's man groomed. Use code Brunson, save 20% off, get the free shipping, and the free shipping I fought for that for y'all. Listen, man, we gotta talk about it, man. We gotta talk about a travesty, an abomination. You know what I mean? We gotta talk about it. First and foremost, the the, the snubbing. The snub job that was performed on one Joel Embiid, you know, by him not, you know, getting the MVP. And then going back to uh, Jokic for, you know, the second year. Look, man, Jokic stats was crazy. I'm not going to lie, man. They, I, his stats was crazy. I think he crazy record, something like that. Something like that, man. But you cannot fake presence. Joel Embiid being the first center to win the scoring title since Shaq, you cannot fake presence. I'm telling you, you cannot fake presence. You can't. People fear Joel Embiid. I don't get that sense from Jokic. People fear Joel Embiid. The defense changed when Joel Embiid on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's a bit of a debate about it being, you know, is it a regular season award? Why people count the playoffs? Man, playoffs matter. Because you could do a lot of that stuff in the regular season. But when it's time to, for the playoffs, you get bounced out like Jokic. You know what I'm saying? Joel Embiid game is carried over to the playoffs. Joel Embiid is built for the long haul. He's built to be a champion. He's doing the same thing he was doing in the regular season, and he's doing it in the postseason. Elevating the game of everybody around him. He just climbed out of a 2-0 two, a two lead. This dude, Jokic, man, be, he be tussling in the first round. Now, I know he's missing Jamal Murray. I know he's doing what he got to do, but I, man, I, think, I, think it was, I think it was Joel this year, bro. I think it was Joel this year, man. That's just my honest opinion on that, man. But the birds, man. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to open up Monday Night Football primetime, 8.30 p.m. against the Minnesota Vikings. Wow. Listen, the primetime game's already rolling in. The respect is being built around our names as we speak. You know what I'm saying? This season is going to be about respect. You know what I mean? When the logo come in there, when the birds come to any arena, you got to respect that. You got to respect the body of work that we about to put on the field this season. You got to respect it and you got to pay attention to it. And I believe a lot of plays are going to be made in our favor. So, you know, it's all about respect. The league putting respect on our name. I want to see this roster ASAP. I don't know when this roster was made. You know what I'm saying? But I can't remember the last time the Eagles opened up Monday Night Football and it probably wasn't against the Dallas Cowboys a division game or something like that. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't I don't I don't know, man. Somebody do some research on that. But this this wild, man. This also lets me know that you need to go get a CB2 like now. You know what I mean? Justin Jefferson is coming to town. You know what I mean? They got wide receivers over there in Minnesota. Kirk Cousins could throw the ball. You know what I'm saying? Thielen, you know, I, listen, it could get crazy. It could get crazy in the heartbeat over there, man. I'm telling you, you get crazy in the heartbeat. So you want to have, you know, your defensive game plan ready. But I think we're going to be able to get the Cousins and rattle him enough anyway. But we're not going to jump all the way to week one. A lot of stuff got to happen. That's a passing attack. Kirk Cousins, now, now, if we're going off of just, you know, if we're going off of, you know, what we saw last year from Gannon, if we're going off of patterns, since we, we, we do it with our quarterback, we do it with everything else, let's go off of these patterns now. The pattern of Gannon is a guy like Kirk Cousins he fits the profile of somebody that's going to have 80% completion percentage on your defense. He fits the profile. It don't matter who you drafted, ladies and gentlemen, on that defense, who you traded for. It don't matter what linebacker you got. If them cornerbacks are playing seven yards behind, they're going to get torched. They're going to get torched by Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, whoever's out there. They're going to get torched. That's the film on us right now. We sag off against semi-elite or elite passers. We did it with Carr, Herbert, all of these guys. Brady, Mahomes. That's that's what we do. So I want to see. I, 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 the, the moral of the story is this. More than one guy has to develop for you to have a championship team. When the Philadelphia Eagles had a championship team, what did you see happen? You seen Corey Clement emerge in the playoffs. You see Alshon Jeffrey develop and become a guy that the defense got to, you know, look at. You saw a lot of things happening, man. You saw Jalen Mills play really, really good down the stretch. A lot of things got to happen to have a championship run. A lot of things, man, because I've seen quarterbacks in this league. We could take Deshaun Watson, for example. I've seen Deshaun Watson have an amazing passing season, right the year right before he got out of the Texans. 
You know what I mean? That year. I think he was led the league in passing yards, all type of stuff. But they won four games. Oh, I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with having all the stats just to, just to, you know, I'm not cool with that. I'm trying to win some football games here. So more things got to be around you in order for you to succeed. That's just the bottom line, man. That's the bottom line. And we're going to see how this thing takes us. But, yeah, Joel got snubbed. And I'm excited about Monday night. I'm excited about the growth of this football team. And I can't wait to see how it translates onto the field, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments.